Hello, hi, hi, folks. There we go. Back at the puffing once again. Um, puffing. Mr. Boozy Bill Hig up here to the left or to the right, whichever way you're looking. I'm looking quite good, if you ask me. Oh, very good. That's a nice compliment to yourself. <laughs> Just you go ahead and compliment <laughs> no, yourself, no. Mr. Boozy Bill Hig. <laughs> you're supposed to do that before we all started, you know. You've got to do all your coughing and spluttering and. <laughs> Medley. And introducing tonight. Mr. Series Steve! With still bearing my Movember, since we're getting very close to the end, what have I got left? Uh, what's this? Thursday, so we've got tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and it's off on Saturday morning. It's all for a good cause, but it's coming off. It's off. Getting itchy and nah. However, that's another subject. Thank you to all the sponsors. Tonight, Bill, we're uh, about Shh. to indulge in. Uh, drum roll. Something completely different. A siglo. No, no siglos. <laughs> <laughs> We've done them all. <laughs> Don't tell me there's a seven. There can't be a siglo <laughs> seven, for God's sake. Please, don't Bloody bring siglos. Don't bring up a siglo seven. <laughs> However. Ramon Alones. Ramon Alones. Alones. Yeah. Petit Bellicosos. Yeah. A regional addition to yeah. Grand Bretagne. Anya! Yes. We're we'll neck of the woods in our words. Yeah, interesting. Is that too quick for our no. neck of the woods? Our in neck of words. the woods. Nice looking cigar. Petite bellicosos, we reckon, is the size. Yeah. That's what we've been told, anyway. Deep pyramid, basically. Oh, an ickle yeah. one. An ickle one. Perfect, yeah. 52 ring gauge, apparently. Ah. By 4.9 inches long. Ooh. It's just about the perfect length, some people would say. I know. Some people. But why, do, why don't they when, they, when they produce cigars, Steve, why don't they just give you a cigar It gives you the cut-off size? Which is? Well, once we nip the end of that off, it's going to be less than 4.9, isn't it? Okay. Oh, wait, you measure it? So what happens if you cut that end off and stick it in the front? Well, we may try that tonight, but we'll try it sometime. I don't know. An observation, but... That's the size, Petit Bellicosos, um, released when? Last month? October? Mid-October? Very, very recent. 2012. Yeah. So October 2012, when you're watching this in the year 2525. 25. When man is still alive. <laughs> we wanna be when still alive. We'd be lucky if we see 2025. Jagger and Evans, it was there indeed. you go. 69 I believe that record. And he's waggling his finger at you again, Mr. Peeps there. Is that loud? Too loud, man. Anyway, yes, getting back to it, October 2012 release, UK, how many boxes did you say? 5,000. Only 5,000 boxes of 10s? Yes, 10s in a box. Yeah, I, yeah I'm boxes saying that because, because I only bought two. You bought two? I did buy a box. Just on the strength, I like to sample first, you know, I like to sample, being mm -hmm. Scottish. Quite right. We like to sample before we buy. Preferably somebody else's cigars, mm. like, but in this occasion, these two cigars are from two entirely different boxes. So they are. I purchased my one locally here in Aberdeen. And Steve got his from Londonshire, down in England somewhere. Yes. I believe it's a, a small, quaint village down in the south. Is it? Southeast. 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 Yeah, I know. So they say. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, two different cigars, so it would be nice to compare from different boxes, completely different boxes. I can't remember the number of the box that I have, but I'll tell you that at the end, perhaps when I upload the video, which will probably be in another month, if you've just watched the Siglo 6. It took me a whole month to upload that one, but however, I'm getting back into it, folks. It takes a while. Well, you see, you should just get yourself a regular computer instead of winding up games. <laughs> the elastic bands, I know, I run out of them. <laughs> I follow the posties he runs, about, he runs out of puff. I, I, I follow the posties about for the elastic bands because they're always throwing them away, but the computer is just like God. the red ones. No it's more. Red ones. If, if he, he, he's gas powered before that one. Terrible. If they, if they hadn't done away with Freon from the refrigerators, then I would have still been using that in ammonia and everything. However, well, as I we're talking, you Freon because you thought it was free. Ah, now we're on. What we about to. Construction colour, two different colours actually, it's different boxes as we've said. Mine's is probably a lighter brown, lighter shade of brown. Billy's has got the sort of slightly darker, darker, bit of reddishy through yeah, years as well. Slightly more of a Maduro end as opposed to Steve's, is more like 
<laughs> traditional straightforward <laughs> color radio, bang in the middle color radio. Yeah. Imagine this is a slightly shade darker. Fine construction. I mean, really, really feels nice and spongy. Humidor sitting at about actually, it's sitting at about seventy at just now, sixty nine, seventy, just on a seventy, I think. Um, so it's been in there for a month since I bought them. I've done the wrong thing, Steve. What have you done? Picked up. Uh, I've laid it in the arse straight for the past five minutes. It's picked up the arse. I leave the leg, but it'll go. That'll wane. <laughs> wane. So, can you go put it through the ringer? <laughs> oh, off the, off the foot of the cigar now. Something completely different. Nice. Huh? Don't know what like yours is. Vegetal. Vegetal. Very vegetal. But I'm actually getting like that, uh, what would you call it? A nutmeggy. Uh -huh. A nutmeggy kind of. Okay. Vegetal, nutmeg. Compost. Nice. Compost, vegetal, vegetal. Yeah. Compost. Nice construction. Looking forward to this one. Um, also, not going to talk far, far. In fact, this thing, the, the actual mm. main Ramon Aloni's band is desperate to come off. So, rather than faff around with it, I'm just going to take it off now. I'll leave that sitting around there somewhere and keep your eye on it. Bonnie Bands. Um, Bales of silage. Silage. The, 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 what's silage in your part of the world? I wouldn't know, but here in the northeast of Scotland, it's basically cut grass. I'm, sure, I'm not a farmer, but I'm told it's cut, <laughs> cut grass, not dry grass, but cut grass has been baled yeah, up. Yeah, cut grass, definitely. And left for a, a wee while, and it's starting to almost ferment. Yep. And that's what I'm getting. Okay, we're going to get a wee pause, and we'll cut and clip. Maybe take a couple of puffs and come back to you in a while. In a moment. Cheers on my non-alcoholic strawberry daiquiri. Good elf. Hello, best will. Just leave you enjoy your Look, alcoholic see, pour. See, see, see. <laughs> Don't call him me, Mr. Murray, for, for no reason. The size of his glass. He couldn't give me a poor glass that size, could he? No. <laughs> he just gives me the ball. He's not that bad a guy. Dry eye, folks. Or dry eye, folks, as I've had a wee dry eye. So it's dry eye and eye eye from <laughs> eye eye reviews. This is back to the uh, opening of the Ramon Alones Gran Bretagna Petit Bellicosos October 2012. Would you get in the opening in, Bill? Are you feeling? Well, we've got the sniffability of, we'll go back to that silage, compost, and, and the nip of the cigar I'm smoking. I'm reading my notes again because my name is rubbish. Mm -hmm. A pretty light draw. Very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't say cheesy. Wouldn't say it's just just delightful. Nice draw. Perfect draw. With cigarette tobacco on the pool. Cigarette tobacco. Tobacco. Definitely. Then lit the thing. The burn is just it's okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect burn for mm -hmm. me. I'm working down to the half inch there. Mine's is just burn. Perfectly, mm. as you can see there. But anyway, it's very subtle. The flavours are very, very subtle at this stage. Well, Steve sneaked one in last week, and maybe stealing his thunder here, and it changed dramatically from start to finish. But so far, this one is probably going in the same format. So it's very subtle right now, and it's coming through with a butterscotch flavour. Okay, but, but that subtlety is there, but it ain't striking. <coughs> Slightly <Excuse me>. not <coughs> I get a lot on the back of that, yeah. Yeah, a bit spicy. And hints of pepper. Yeah. In the mouth. Hang, hanging around in the back of the throat. It's like spiciness. Feel it when you put it, when you just put it through your nose just that wee bit to get that you feel that little etch and tingle as if the, the spiciness is there, which is nice. Um, it's quite dry finish. When you're mm. finished with it, it leaves your mouth feeling very dry, gummy. Well you gummy. mentioned nutmeg and I think that nutmeg. maybe is, is the the thick and dry nutmeg. finish. Can ah, give you. Yeah. So the nutmeg note going through there, and the slight peppiness and the mm -hmm. butterscotch, it's starting up to be a nice wee cigar at this point. They're both sort of similar. I mean, basically, I like a kind of slight, I, I don't know what it is, if it's saltiness, but I often, I often describe a cigar as having tasted mussels a few times. It's got this taste like a mussel, which is obviously salty, but then also that this tastes like a mussel, that's it, as simple as. So that's the opening anyway, that's just the opening of the cigar, first few puffs, 
very nice. As Bill says, the construction on it's wonderful. The draw on it, perfect pull on it. Wonderful cigar. So we'll probably just sit back, put our feet up, listen to a nice good old day. Uh, David Bowie track here from uh, Ziggy Stardust and uh -huh. two or three and chill tonight whilst we enjoy the cigar and then try and pass it back up on to you. See you in about ten. Are we bored? What? Ten seconds. <laughs> ten minutes for us. <laughs> well aye aye folks, here we go. Back with a little bit of Bowie still in the background and a little bit of ash as we as we were comparing. My ash is slightly lighter than Billy's ash. <laughs> and if it's red faces, then they are red faces. It's not red faces because of the lighting. Um, it's because Billy's ash is a bit darker than mine. He's got a Maduro wrapper, which would actually say that maybe it's going to be slightly darker than mine. However, let's get moving on. And Bowie, you can just quieten down a bit. What are you thinking? First third of the Ramona Lonies. <laughs> he's lost his feet. <laughs> he's lost his thread. He's lost everything. Oh, belly, belly, belly. Mister. <laughs> you had to cut a bit out there. <coughs> I hope I cut it out. It's often we, we, we take two, but we took two in this instance. Because my wrapper is darker. Did you say that, Steve? It is. It's slightly yeah. darker. And the ash is also darker. Yeah. I'm talking about. Well. <laughs> Yeah, flaky I'm ash. A, That's I'm another thing. A very, very flaky ash. Anyway, yeah. flaky ash. In fact, very light ash. I, I didn't realise that it came out when it did come off. It came off very, very easily. Well, it's more of the same. Mm -hmm. We're past the first third, I would guess. Just about past the first third. More of the same, but it's getting slightly beefier, and as we would call it, slightly beefier. And I'm getting slight tones of. Hazelnut well, you did coming see. through mm -hmm. in my cigar. Now, we we'll haven't swapped these yet, but we'll no doubt do it in the second third, and we'll be compare. No, I'm enjoying it. It's one of these cigars that, it's not a complex cigar at all. It's not one of these, you know, wow, look at this, we'll taste this, taste that. It's just a nice cigar. Um, it, from last week's one, I'm not going to compare it with last week's yet. I'll tell you about mm. that later. But let's just see how it does develop. As Billy says, in the first third, Another little pause and we shall. Longer last, I tell you, it's, it's lingering a lot longer. It's getting more beefy, as Billy said, but it is actually a long, long finish in your mouth. You can smack yeah. away and get the flavours and the taste. As we often do. As we often do. Boo boo. See you in a moment. See you in a moment. Aye, aye, Bill. Aye, aye, Steve. Tell me something. Tell me. What are you about to tell me? What are you about to tell me? Am I on my seat or am I six inches above it? Ah. Because you're floating. I think I'm floating here, Steve. With the strength of the cigar, maybe. Perhaps. It's, getting, it's, it's getting pokey. Wow, it's getting, it's getting pokey. It is getting very pokey. Mm. The subtleties have gone. No, we just turn it right. No, there's a wee bit of promotion for the old Stones people. Ah. Grrr, grrr, cigar. cigar. There's a cigar, cigar. Actually, oh, we did swap, and we haven't told you about that either. We had a wee quick swap, though, and I tasted Bill's. Ramon Alone's Petite first and completely different draw as we expected there were going to be completely different cigars and I got this chocolate coffee notes out of Bill's just before the strength was kicking in actually to be honest with you there um, compared with mine more cedary, more spicy and an easier draw um, I'm not sure which one I prefer Billy's saying his is just going into the garness of, of a cigar Am I still in focus? Because I feel my like focus is going <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yep, I'm still there. <clears throat> but that is what it did last week. That's what this one, my one, did last week out of my own box. Um, it did, and it is changing. This one's now changing. I'm just coming to the same sort of stage as Billy. And you just feel it becoming more, oh, as Billy says, grr. <clears throat> you feel it arse. <clears throat> arse. It's nice. It's still nice, but it's, it's pokey pokey. I know. I, I think. Maybe I think the cigar pokey. needs to. Probably just chill for a while. As in mature in months and years, yeah. perhaps, as opposed Quite to... Quite a while, because yeah. it, I, think, I don't think a cigar should go through that change so rapidly from being... Like, I'm trying to find something in it, really, to almost something like, wow, it's... Oh, hold on, turn from a boy to a man within seconds, as opposed to... Yeah. Just, 
taking a year or two to do that. But no, it is. Well, you're right. You're right. Maybe they need to be down left for a year or two, mm -hmm. let them take one out. One a year for next this time next year, try one. Is it possible, I wonder, if you could put a different leaf not mm -hmm. through the cigar? Yeah, you do. But at the last part of the cigar. They do that. Yeah, they do that. They do do that. If you're Rather, actually making it. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They put in the different stuff at different ends, yeah. Some at this end, some at that end. Having yeah. been privileged to see a cigar being rolled in these factories all in Cuba. Mm -hmm. But I just wondered that. I just there's something it, 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 it came to mind by that. Like, it's two different cigars. Yeah, the opening can be. Opening can be just like easy as then all of a sudden. Poof. Yeah. You I can feel my head actually go. I haven't been, I'm not on the alcohol at the moment at all. I'm going through a non-alcoholic stage at the moment, which is good. Um, so, and I, I'm, I'm feeling that heady. It's giving me a big head rush, definitely now. As if I've been drinking alcohol. So, and, and I've got good news. Very good news. I'm drinking for two. Yes, I know, oh, I know. Congratulations. <laughs> no, congratulations. Steve <laughs> reminded me of that. I know, he's drinking, oh, I'm drinking for, for two. two. I know. I know. I'm it's expecting gonna that as something shortly. It's going to be a first, a yeah. world first. It's going to happen here at the Buffet. Well, hopefully, yeah. right just now at the Buffet, but uh, fall, fall, soon. fall off my stool. <laughs> I'll rephrase that. Fall off my seat. Is that somewhere? <laughs> kind of. Cloves was the other thing I forgot to say just yeah. before I disappear and smoke. Cloves, I'm getting a big kick of cloves out of this one as well. And you said onion budgies or samosas. The effect of coming on of these flavours, but yeah, just that spicy spiciness is going on. Good. Definitely. Definitely. These, these is it spice? Indian spices. These spices are herby, herb, yeah, herby spicy spices, flavors, all of that going on. on. Definitely. I'm just getting strength at this point in time like this thing. It's good to strength. Well, we'll take another wee break. We'll, we'll, we'll smoke it for a wee while longer and before we uh, finish it we'll come back and we'll give you some scores and what we decide upon over the next inch or so, if we can last it that long, before, I know. if it really just doesn't float us, if we come back and there's a blank screen then 999, get them around to AB. I'm getting the diver's boots on, <laughs> Le lead boots to keep on the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I'll get this space hat on. Siggy Starter, Space Hat, Starman, a rocket now, Steve. A rocket. Here we go again. Well, Ziggy's playing the guitar and we're trying to smoke this cigar. And it is some cigar. It is going extremely strong. So far. I mean, it went to the halfway stage okay, and then from then on in, boy, oh boy, wasn't this just a cigar? But it's a real beefer. Actually, the flavours have gone in it, which is, you know, it's just become strength. That's the thing. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. It's not, it's not, not in a bad way, but it is, it is. A, I mean, we haven't had much to eat tonight, to be honest with you, just nibbles sort of thing, but I think this might be the sort of cigar, believe it or not, that you should be smoking after maybe a decent nosh, eh? You Work think? Welcome back tomorrow. <clears throat> if you want to smoke your own cigar again tomorrow. <laughs> but no, it is it's a wee bit like that. He's right. Mm. <clears throat> it's an unfortunate, excuse me. <clears throat> a bling frog. Mm. That's gel. Gel for you. I know. Gel the frog. Gel the frog. I'm not going to mind down with a, a pork, which is just helping it go along a wee bit, but you really need something with the cigar to help go down. A spoonful of medicine. A spoonful of sugar helps a cigar go down. No, it's good though. Mm. Are we going to be Score. rounding up and scoring? Yeah. yeah, I would say we should. Um, definitely worth a purchase. If you want to smoke one now, just to see how it is just now, smoke it, see what you get out of it. I would imagine it's a tale of two cigars, beginning, middle and end, that's three cigars. <laughs> but um, enjoy it, 
otherwise stick them away. Yeah. Leave them a year, at least a year. Um, but well worth a purchase in my mind. Score, it's going to be difficult actually to score. I'm going to put it at 90. I'm just going to put it at a bare 90. Because I think it deserves a 90 for the cigar. It might even, it will progress as the year goes on. Next next year it will be a better cigar. I could have... I could have scored it just under that because of it, the way it's changed, but 90 for me, Bill. Well, I can understand where Steve's coming from. Mm. I'm going to score mine 87 mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. 88 next year, mm -hmm. 89 the year after, and hopefully we'll reach the 90s and beyond oh, well after that. Because I think it's got potential, Big time. and right now I think it'd be folly buy a box and just smoke it right down unless you're extremely lucky but you can afford to have a, a box of cigars yeah but five boxes of them or something yeah. like that would be perfect sure. unless you've got a box of cigars that's perfectly smokable right now yeah having said that you may like your cigars exactly like these ones it's true and fine nothing wrong with it but our preference is more consistency throughout from start to finish development flavours as opposed to being two different cigars which they I believe are it's not so much complexity, it's just it's just a complete change from change. one end to the other. Yeah. Not not in a bad way. But thanks again for watching. I'll do my best to get this up and running very, very soon so you can get it before it's months on. Before, before we reach the 90 points. Exactly. So, thank you. And remember, Twitter at, at II Reviews, just as it is, A Y E A Y E R E V I E W S for moi. And Boozy Bell Hiccup. There you go. You're more than welcome to join us anytime. Anytime. Why? Because we ain't falling apart. There you go. Catch you later. Twitter, Facebook, the lot. Great toot. And we're Bethu. Bethu. Night night. Night folks. Thank you. You dance at 90. You dance at, are you asking? I'm asking. Well, I'm dancing. Let's go. <laughs>